Next. Uh, so I wanted to give you a little bit of background. I know um, uh, probably a vast majority of our attendees have probably started coming to the convention within the past four or five years. Um, many people probably don't know the fact that Anime Fest was actually uh, born back in 92. Uh, and back in 92, there were only two other anime conventions in the entire country at that time. Uh, there was Akon and there was Anime Expo in LA. And that was it. That was all there was. Uh, nowadays, there's so many anime conventions, hard to keep track. Uh, there's easily 250 in the United States every year. Uh, and I still run into anime fans every day that I wear an anime t-shirt or an anime fest shirt that have never heard of anime conventions or been to them. Uh, I know you guys probably run into the same thing. You wear an anime shirt around and somebody says, I know that. Uh, so I wanted to, to say a few things about uh, the convention as well. Um, anime Fest, unlike a lot of anime conventions, uh, is a nonprofit organization. Um, we are completely uh, uh, volunteer based. Uh, I am a volunteer. The board of directors that governs the organization are volunteers. We're all giving our time. We're all taking vacation time to, to make this convention possible. Uh, and I really want to thank all the volunteers, so over 300 of them that are contributing this year to make this convention possible. Uh, I also want to thank uh, a number of companies and organizations that have uh, come together to make this convention possible as well. Uh, especially Funimation Entertainment, who always uh, consistently gives us a whole truckload of uh, prizes and, and materials for our contests over the weekend, and uh, has continued to support us for many, many years. And we want to thank uh, Nepco Bandai Games uh, has uh, contributed a premiere that we'll talk about a later, a uh, film premiere that's going to be going on Sunday that you won't want to miss. Uh, and NIS America, Bandai Entertainment, uh, Anaplex, and Sendai Filmworks um, all contributed to the films that are being shown in the anime rooms this weekend. Anime Planet uh, is a website that's very popular. You first probably know about this. Anime Planet has synopses for just about every every anime show ever made, I think. Uh, and they help contribute a lot of the synopses that are in our program book and fill that content up. Uh, I'd like to now introduce Jonathan Naraki, who will introduce our Japanese guest. Hello, everybody. Good evening. My name is Jonathan Naraki, I'm the Vice Chairman of Anime Fest and also the Director of Japanese Guest Relations. Um, this year, uh, I'd like to talk a little bit um, before I introduce our guest, just to kind of give you a little bit of background. And uh, five years ago, I found myself in a uh, fairly remote area in Japan, outside of Tokyo proper, and uh, I was trying to find uh, guests for the convention. And everybody always asks, oh, get some great animators. We want people that can draw pictures. And so I had went in pursuit of a particular animator at, uh, at the studio. And I was invited to the studio, and I met with the studio president and the animator, and we had a great discussion, and we were able to invite him. And I was still looking for more people to, to bring to the convention uh, to meet the guests and, and for our guests to be more Japanese creators. And so I asked the president of uh, Manglo, uh, Mr. Kobayashi, I said, do you, do you know of any other people um, that, that you think would be a great guest for an anime convention? And he, he said, actually, yeah, I know this one writer. And I thought, a writer? Really? I wanted like, somebody that could draw, somebody that, that directed. Um, but I said, okay, sure, let, let me meet him. And um, a lot of tra uh, communication transpired, and ultimately I was introduced to um, our guest, and uh, this will be his fifth year with us. And the one thing I gotta say is he has turned out to be one of the best guests from Japan we've ever been able to, uh, to bring over. Um, he's joined us five years consecutively and has always had something different to talk about every year. Um, this year he brings with him a premiere film uh, that we will be able to show on Sunday. Um, let's please give a warm welcome to Mr. Dai Sato.
Next, I'd like to introduce to you our uh, director of North American Guests, Ms. Susie Vega.
Thank you very much. Uh, is Ian Sinclair? <coughs> All right, then um, this is even easier. So with this, I will conclude opening ceremonies. And uh, thank you all for being here. <laughs> Let's have a great time. So without further ado, we're going to start the uh, runway competition. One more small announcement, not so small actually. So again, uh, this year as last year, this is a uh, second time doing this. Uh, you can not only leave your money in the dealer room, you can leave your blood in the deal room. So uh, uh, make sure that you stop by the Carter Blood Care Blood Donation Center as they can in the dealer room uh, the whole weekend. And uh, let's see if we can beat the amount we get donated last year. Uh, another thing to note is that there will be a, a donation drive on the other end of the dealer room for the Ameri uh, for, sorry for the Japanese Red Cross uh, to support uh, the victims of the disaster there. So please stop by their booth. It's over by where we're selling the uh, Anime Fest merchandise at the other end of the room. Thank you. This is why we can't have nice things. <laughs> hey guys, I'm Count D. I'm gonna be <laughs> Thanks. I'm gonna be your MC for the cosplay run on. Uh, run on. Do you hear this? That's how cosplay I am now. Uh, the cosplay runway. But uh, right now we're still kind of getting everything together, so if you can bear with us for a couple of minutes, I'm gonna go and just talk to y'all while we're still getting everything together. So um, I really can't see any of you. from a different state. Out of state people are fun. I myself am from Louisiana. These swamps. Oh, what? Do we have any other Louisiana people here? You guys have planes in Texas. We have swamps. It's very culture shock for me. Getting over the state border was like, wow. The, plane, the, the swamp just like stopped. People were asking me, well, how far into Texas does the swamp start? And I called them right when I got over the board. I'm like, right here. There are planes. It makes me feel really awkward, too, when I'm saying there, because I just look around, and I'm like, there's open space. There's a really pretty tree. You don't see that much in Louisiana. You say, there's a really pretty alligator. I could bite my face off. I'm a little too tall. Yeah, I had too much fun. So, who here that's not competing in the cosplay competition is actually a cosplayer? And why aren't you competing? I'm sorry, like 
800 years old. You're going to have to speak up. I'm deaf. I'm so sorry. You must have not followed the rules. Shame on you. So anyway, um, cosplay. I, this year, all of my contours that I've been going to and emceeing and stuff like that, I've always said the same thing, which I'm going to say to you guys as well. Uh, and I'm going to say it again at the beginning of the show, but I want y'all to hear my cute little personal, you know, floop, right now. Uh, first things first, anyone know what cosplay is? That, you know, I mean, you should if you're here. It's costume play. It's, it's costume. It's, it's love, okay? Here's the thing. I want everyone in the audience right now to do this. I don't see enough hands in the air. Do this. Okay. If you're not doing it, I'm gonna hit you later. No, 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 I don't condone violence. Anyway, what I want you to do is I want you to take your hands and make a heart. Okay? This is for everyone out there because cosplay is all about the love, okay? And a lot of people have been losing sight of that. It's not about the drama, it's not about who's better, Maybe a little bit. Um, I'm going to hell for this. Um, but it's, thank you. It's all about the love, and cosplayers have lost sight of that. And I think that it's uh, people like me, people like them who are actually competing. It's, it's up to all of us, even you guys. It's up to us to show the new generation. Like, it's all about love. It's all about just commitment. You love your character. You love you know, your costume, you love everything. And I love me too, thank you. Oh. Don't let me leave here without my number. So, I'm still using a satellite phone. Anyway, um, you made me lose my train of thought. Is that a Sebastian cosplayer that said that to me? Cause that's just funny, what? It was, oh, yeah, I see you have a wrench. Oh, wrench, not winch. I'm sorry. My bad. So what was I saying? I was talking about love and cosplay and something distracted me. I want everyone to point at them and say shame. Shame. Oh, you actually did it. <laughs> dance, puppets, dance. Yes. Dance. That's all I know how to do. So anyway, I was talking about the love, I was talking about dance. Oh, that's what I was gonna say. Okay. Last time I said this, I got standing ovation, so please don't freak me out like that. Um, really and truly, what you need to realize is because you're here, you fit into a very specific room, okay? We are all, we are all like 20 years old, maybe younger, maybe older, maybe a lot older. And, shh, thank you, thank you. I don't look a day over 500, right? Be honest with me. Anyway, you are all a specific group, really and truly. I mean, look at us, we are all, dressed as comic and cartoon characters, attending a event dedicated to comic and cartoon characters for three whole days while some of us miss work and stuff. We're all nerds. Be proud to be a nerd. If you're not proud to be a nerd, then I want you to get out or learn how to be proud. Oh yeah, this one is four days, so if you're here, you're extra nerdy. I'm up on stage at a four-day convention. I'm like the super nerd. So, anyway, so, yeah, I just want to thank you all, because honestly, without you guys, we wouldn't have a convention. Uh, audiences, audiences make a con, too. It's not just the people on here. Now, granted, I want to see more of you on stage next year. I can't see, I'm blind. Oh, wow, I was pointing at the door, wasn't I? Hey, door, you over there, cosplay next year. Do it. 
So anyway, I want to see more of you cosplaying next year. Um, I mean, the skits competition is not till Sunday either. So I mean, you have that to look forward to as well. So I better see some of you that aren't cosplaying right now, cosplaying in the skit competition. Okay? So I want you to do me a favor. I want you to raise your hands one more time. Shut up. So I did it like this. I want you to all hands. I want you all to give yourselves a round of applause, you guys, because it's people like y'all that make us want to get up on stage and do this all the time. Because, I mean, let's face it, without you guys, we would be a bunch of nerds and costume walking on stage looking at an empty room going. And that's, that's not fun. <laughs> well, yeah, it kind of is. <laughs> I mean, let's face it, it's fun to stare at yourself, right? But, um, yeah, thank y'all so, 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 so very much. If you just bear with us for a couple of more minutes, uh, we will kind of start. So, I love you all. That was Sebastian, I know that. I sell models like you in my pet shop. If you're a faulty model, then you would improve versions of things before. 